Let's go. It's the mayor, Derek Tant, here in the parlor. And it's St. Patrick's Day. How are all of you pretend Irishmen doing? Yes, it is St. Patrick's Day. And of course, of course, I'm smoking my Patterson pipe. Which was gifted to me by Brother Boontar. And I'm smoking in it the old standby. My favorite, Hearth and Homes, Chatham Manor. I'm going to set this down for a minute. Because i got to talk. Because this is the mayor's official drinking guide for St. Patrick's Day. Now, you can take this as gospel. This is important. And also note, I've already, I've already started. <laughs> so, any grain of salt you might need to take with this, go for it. Um, St. Patrick's Day. A religious holiday, I think. Do I know what it really is? I don't know. It's St. Patrick. He wasn't really from Ireland, but he went to Ireland and he drove away the snakes. I don't know. What, what is it? I mean, I'm sure I could Wikipedia it and know, know everything in 15 seconds. But it's a lot like Cinco de Mayo. You know, religious kind, you know, religious origins, maybe? No. No. I don't know. It was one of those things. Cinco de Mayo, St. Patrick's Day. We do it. We celebrate it. There's drinking. Do we know the actual meaning? Who knows? All right. But there is drinking on St. Patrick's Day, sometimes quite a bit. And, well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to guide you through, all right? We, you, need, you need rules, not rules, but you need some guidelines, all right? You need to make this a better experience for you. I don't usually go to bars. I go to bars to meet people, like when I'm meeting up with people. Um, but I don't just go to bars, not like to like watch sporting events. And I don't usually drink a lot outside homes, you know, because I've got a nice whiskey collection. I know people with nice whiskey collections. If I'm out for a concert or a sporting event or, or something like that, you know, that's when it's nice to have a drink. But otherwise, I'm sitting in my comfort, I'm sitting in a comfort zone drinking. Anyway, St. Patrick's Day. There's going to be a lot of uh, food coloring in in your Bud Light, green beer. Ugh. I mean, it's not ideal. But that's what people think it means to celebrate and pay honor to St. Patrick. Drink, drink dyed beer? No. You're going to drink Guinness? No. No. The Guinness that we get here is not as fresh and as delicious as you can get in Dublin. Don't do that either. What you need to do is drink whiskey. If you're going to go out, order some Irish whiskey. They got Jameson. They got Bushmills. Whatever. They also might have this. I like this. This is Proper 12. This is Irish whiskey. Uh, and this is Conor McGregor. The UFC guy. You know? It's kind of his, uh, his little private label. I have some here. Spoiler alert. I had some earlier. It's pretty good. Very sweet. Fruity. Like uh, pears. Apples. Mm. Mm. And it comes across. You know, very sweet. Very smooth. Fruity. Not quite buttery. Not quite honey. But it's very drinkable, very nice. So that's what I would recommend. You know, nice Irish whiskey. And all those Irish whiskey bottles come a lot like this. They're usually green, emerald isle. Got a nice round, 
you know, body of the bottle. That's the body. This is the neck. Now this is a long, kind of a finish neck. Now this is important because when you finish the bottle, after you've drank the whole bottle, you can grab the bottle by the neck, right? And you can turn it around and you can use it to smack the person across from you that you're fighting with. And why are you fighting with them? Because you're belligerent because you drank a whole bottle of whiskey. And this is the proper whiskey to, to smash into someone's head. You, you can't do it with, with this one. No freaking way. Look at this. There's no, there's not a lot of room. You're not getting your whole hand around that neck. And look at this. Look at the, look at the body. You've got, you got long spots. You got, you got thin spots. This will just, it might glance off their forehead. You have to be precise with it. You can, you're not going to be precise if you've had a whole bottle of whiskey. No, sir. Or ma'am. I'm not going to exclude the ladies. All right, but, but, but this. Perfectly round. And you will hit your target. It's very large. You will hit your target. So, don't do that. <laughs> it's just a joke. It's a joke. All right? Don't be fighting. And don't drink a whole bottle of whiskey. You know, know your limit. It's better to not drink to full intoxication. Drink to get buzzed. Drink to enjoy. But that's it. And if you don't want Irish whiskey... You can take any of these bourbons, you can take any bourbon or scotch or whatever you want, and you can put it inside a green bottle, because green equals St. Patrick's Day, and no one will pinch you if you're drinking out of a little green bottle, because it's green, and you can just put it in your front pocket there. Okay, that was just a little bit of silliness. Hope you enjoyed it. Look, here's the thing. If you're going to be drinking on St. Patrick's Day, here's what you really should be doing. Number one, don't drink alone. Be with your friends. Be with your family. Go out and enjoy. I am drinking with all of you right now. So I'm not alone. Number two, don't drink and drive. Do not do that. Don't ever do that. Um, it's not worth it. You could hurt yourself. You could hurt others. You could get in trouble. And what else? Drink. Don't drink too much. You know? It's fun to have a couple. It's fun to have a few. You know? It's a social lubricant. Gets the juices going. Gets the fun going. Um, it's nice. You get a nice buzz. Everything's light. Everything's cool. You're funny. You're funnier. Everybody else is funny too. It's a good time. We're all having a good time. But then... If you drink too much, you lose control. All right? Yeah, we don't need that. You'll say something you'll regret. You'll do something you'll regret. And you'll get sick. You might get sick. and then you, Or you'll have a hangover the next day. So don't do that. All right? And also, for every drink, drink some water. You know? You have a, you have a shot? Take a drink of water. Keeps you hydrated. Helps chase away that hangover. Okay? Now, I meant for this video to be funny, <laughs> but it kind of it kind of turned into a, you know, be responsible, which you should. St. Patrick's Day, we've turned it into a, a fun thing. It does have its roots in, uh, I guess, Catholicism. So, we can honor that. We can enjoy that. We can also go out and drink and have a good time and enjoy each other. Grab a pipe, grab a beer if you must, grab a, a, a dyed beer, a green beer if you want, or grab some whiskey and enjoy it with your friends, enjoy it with your family, and go have a good time. But be responsible and don't make yourself sick, all right? And don't forget to enjoy a pipe on St. Patrick's Day. And also don't forget to smell my beard.